Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization V the Vox Pipeline. We're playing as Sweden and we are starting to push against Russia a little bit. Although we don't want to be too aggressive because they have quite a bit of firepower. Uh, and Ethiopia is sending a settler through the middle of our territory. I don't know what they're planning to do with that. Uh, but we're going to have to be careful. Uh, there is a very brave paratrooper who has uh, helped us turn the... T oh, we lost something. Where was that? Bullet has declared war on us. Okay, we just... Okay, who did we lose? We lost a... Uh... Okay, that guy over there, unfortunately. But we also got a great general, which means we have a whole lot of promotions going on here. So, let's see, a Fusilier, I think we will get some cover on him. Okay, this guy got a promotion, let's go for uh, even more, uh, we'll heal every turn even if it performs an action, sounds useful. And where shall we move him to? Not very far, why can we only... Why is he only able to move one square? Oh well. Let's see, uh, we're gonna need to do something to thin out these guys a little bit. Again, hit that Cossack there, and okay, Rifleman got a uh, air defense, overrun, cover two. Let's get cover two on that guy. Bring this unit here, and then we can hit the Cossack. Okay, uh, who else got a promotion? You did. Uh, we can go for cover too, why not? This artillery is going to finish off the Cossack there. I don't want to lose this paratrooper, but there's not a lot of places to move him. So we can put you there and bring you into the citadel. And maybe move that guy there. Actually, not enough men to upgrade these artillery. Okay, this guy is a little bit too far back to hit anything. So let's move you out there. And let's hit that land ship. And let's, uh, we can use you to garrison inside Palenque for now. Move a few of these infantry forward. Just move that guy down there. No, nope, not you. Put you there. Oh, this guy got a promotion. Uh, let's see, cover two, field versus, whoops. Okay, air defense, uh, field. No, I think we'll go for cover two, just because we want to make sure we don't lose these units, especially with all these promotions. I'd like to turn this into a rocket artillery eventually. And then I think we'll hit that artillery in the back. And those guys will have to stay there for now. You can fortify, get a promote unit, the lanchnet over here. Uh, well, let's go for some cover. 
Should probably upgrade that guy at some point, but um, for now I can just continue to guard Addis Ababa. The Caroline will get some cover. Fortified Sigtuna. Uh, promote a unit. This guy also cover and fortify. Fusilier will. Okay, this guy will um, go for the Siege 3. So we should probably. Well, if China declares war on us again. Let's move. Whoops. Let's move you over there. And let's garrison you in Tikal. And uh, we've got promotion over here. I think we'll go for the plus one range on that field gun. It's the uh, next one with plus one range. A very useful promotion. And let's get the fish over here. Fusilier will fortify. Uh, okay, what's going on in Birka? First of all, any of these guys... Uh, okay, let's finish with the promotions here. Uh, Lancer got a promotion. Uh, okay, let's go for Shock 3. Let's need a promotion. Curiouser here. Go for a Barrage 3. Rifleman will get some cover. Okay, this okay, this guy just needs some mortars. Uh, this is not the guy with plus one range, that's the guy with plus one range. So when we upgrade next, we're gonna probably do that guy. We're gonna need 1300 gold for that. Okay, um hmm. Yeah, not much else we can do about these guys over here. Okay, so let's go down here. Uh, okay, first of all, oh no, that guy can't actually do anything. Oh, there's a great admiral out there. Well, let's start off with a machine gun. Who can hit that cruiser? And then we can use the Gatlin gun to not go very far. Okay, well, let's bring the airplanes into this. Actually, maybe we should deal with that paratrooper up there. Although, let's get that ironclad. I don't think one paratrooper is going to cause too much damage. And we have an air... I think it will let you keep healing up. And we'll get another shot on that cruiser down there. Okay, that guy can stay back there. Lancer can stay there. Actually, this guy isn't doing much. Let's send you up here to um, Helsinki. Maybe do something useful about that uh, unit. Okay, that's it for now. You can even swap these two guys for this turn. Okay, fortify. Caroline will stay. You can wait. Okay, I've got the tank here. We should probably put him somewhere useful. Although there's an awful lot of stuff in the way. I would like to put him there. But then he'll be hit by Zurich. Trade with the uh, guy on the hill there. Put you down there. Put the tank on the hill. And that's a good position for the next turn. Let's uh, 
Garrison, you, and Uxmal. You can go forward one. And uh, those look good. See, there's the plus one range guy. Let's get you a little bit closer to the front. Put you there. Prepare for upgrade on next turn. Well, not next turn, but soonish. Okay, curious sir, I think we'll just uh, stay here and wait for the paratrooper to come closer. So we could even uh, hit this turn, but. Um, Fortify. No, not you. That guy is going to come down there. Just to guard. Actually, you know what? Let's take a shot at that paratrooper. This guy can uh, move up too. Okay, I think that's all good. And, uh, Westerus is dealing with Antwerp again, I believe. Where is that, uh, where is that guy from? Somewhere yellow. Valletta, over there. Okay, and... Okay, looks good. We have another bomber on the way. That should help with our sea defense. And I did queue up uh, some submarines in a few of these coastal cities after their current work project is done. So, all right, next turn. Oh, and uh, here is our great general. So if we are going to build a citadel somewhere, I think putting one down there would be useful. This guy has uh, used up all his movement points somehow. But we can bring this guy a little bit closer to the front. Okay, next turn. Paratrooper pair dropping in. And let's see, we lost a few frontline. Oh, well, don't mind them capturing a worker so much, but uh, I don't like uh, losing those frontline troops. Great writer. So I think we should probably, we're probably at the point where we can use these guys for a uh, culture uh, just straight up so we can go through our culture tree that much faster. Although, are there any. Uh, buildings that could use extra culture in them. Gee, swap and optimize. Uh, we do need a few more great artists down here. But I think we have all the writers that we need. So let's... Okay, if we do that, we'll get 39,000 culture. That should be enough for another policy. So let's write a treaties. Okay, and let's see, we can... Uxmal can't... Actually, where did we lose those troops? Okay, so we fortunately lost our valiant paratrooper, but he did his job, and we lost uh, that guy on the hill there. And a worker, and he got a uh, paratrooper over here now. Okay, I think we'll hit the cruiser with city fire. And we have that guy in the water. How far can this bomber go? Can't quite hit the paratrooper, but we can get the cruiser. Meanwhile, we have this guy. Actually, let's bring you down, and you can take a shot at the water there. And so then we have bomber number one, and shock paratrooper, and bomber number two can hit that cruiser again. Okay, that's pretty good. 
Okay, then we got this uh, paratrooper over here. Oh, that's where our worker got captured. Uh, well, we can use a Caroline inside the city here. And have yeah, this guy do something. And even this uh, artillery in the back. Okay, and let's get our worker back. That is ours, right? That's no, our Russian worker. But we're not giving it back to Russia. Okay, uh, let's see. So who does the guy want to upgrade? That's the field gun with plus one range, so that's going to be an upgrade. These artillery. Okay, let's take out that unit there. Or do we want to hit that unit? Well, let's wait. Let's see what we can do with the machine gun first. Let the machine gun do that, and then we can hit the land ship over here. Okay, that would be good. Bring this guy up. We'd like to get that artillery in the back, but it's a little bit far away. I think that tank is also a very dangerous unit. Oh, he is kind of far back. Okay, the tank has 70 HP. The Cossack has 50 ranged. Although we do have this uh, machine gun right here, so it's probably a better way to deal with the Cossack. Hmm. Not quite enough to finish him off. What can we do with our tank? Well, not much on this turn. We can bring him down here and uh, get him ready to do something next turn. So let's do that. And what would be a good spot for a citadel? We could actually move the Great General over here and put a citadel outside of Jerusalem. It would even give us the aluminum. Yeah, I was thinking of putting one down here, but that's just no putting a citadel in the middle of nowhere. Over here would be more strategically useful. So... Hmm... I don't want to capture that guy because that would leave us in a bad position. At least he would be exposed quite badly. And who can this guy hit? I think we'll ignore the light tank for now and hit that artillery. Not quite dead yet. This guy is going to go up on the hill and hit the light tank. do some damage to that artillery. I would like to take out a few of these units, but uh, I think uh, doing something about the more damaging units first is a better idea. Okay, this guy can hit that light tank. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we should push forward. Yeah, I think we will. Get rid of that light tank and bring that guy there. As much as I would like to take out that Cossack, I think it's more prudent to uh, wait. Okay, and where does that guy go? He'll probably just stay where he is for now. 
maybe move you up there and move the great general here. Okay, fortify, fortify. Great general stays there. You can't hit anything. Uh, yeah, let's bring a few of these infantry closer to the front. And I guess you can stay back there for now. Paratrooper will stay in Palenque. That's our supervision guy. And you can stay over there in case the Chinese try something. Uh, let's see. Stay outside Nanjing. Bring that guy back towards Helsinki. Gatling gun can stay there for now. I, that's a good lead for now. Uh, wait and heal up. You too. Uh, you can fortify. Okay, and uh, Westeros. Oh, well, we're uh, nearly done with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the arsenal, nearly done. Then we can start on the submarine. And I think we should be able to just uh, passively resist what the city states are throwing at us. In any case, actually, uh, we don't. What will allow us to hook up oil? Or can we do oil already? Actually, yeah, we can. No, that's oil well. Offshore platform, that's electronics. That's. Oh no, that's plus two range, which allows us to get offshore platforms. There's combustion. Oil well plus two. Let's just hover over it. Um, okay, I think we can already get offshore platforms. So we should get another fishing boat over here. Although this might not be the perfect time to uh, hook that up with all the ships over there, but we will uh, soon enough. And was that our only uh, off uh, ocean-based oil source? I think there was one over here. Yep, there's one outside Helsinki. Uh, one, two, no, that's a little bit outside of borders though. So well, that's the place where we need our last fishing boat, and I don't think there's any up here. Okay. That all looks good. Let's go for the next turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, citrus. We could do six. Okay, very good. Okay, what's Russia going to do? Got that tank back there, a little word. Okay, that, uh, oh. Well, they didn't kill anything. Oh, they did. What did we lose? We lost one of our curiousers. Our curiouser. Where was that? Okay, great artist in Uppsala. And great scientist in Beijing, great. Uh, let's see, um... Okay, oil from Melbourne, uh, enemy is near, okay. Okay, we got a new tile over there. Uh, enemy is near, okay, where did that guy get killed? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he got a little bit too close to the shore there. Well, that's unfortunate. Unit promotion, okay, you got a, uh, I, yeah, I keep forgetting that those, uh, Cruisers have quite a bit of range in the water. Okay, let's get some cover too on that guy. Tank got a promotion. Okay, let's go for uh, shock one, shock two, and then uh, some charge. Okay, Stockholm should be finished the Palace of Culture pretty soon. Well, let's get this guy over to the front. Uh, let's see, on which tile? That one, I think, would be the best one. Okay, and... Well, 
Let's swap these guys. And then we can do some damage to that tank there. And unfortunately, I could move him back, but I don't want to expose our um, machine gun. Okay, got our unit promotion down here. Paratrooper. Uh, trailblazer, yeah. And then we'll go for survivalism one and survivalism two. And Helsinki. Well, we are going to want the Armagnier office. But uh, we're all. Triplanes, are those still useful? We're going to have radar pretty soon. Maybe we should build something else. Infantry, uh, yeah, infantry. Put that up there. Okay, and let's adopt a policy. Now, we still have a couple of nice um, ideologies left. Uh, Hero of the People would be nice, and uh, so would um, Spaceflight Pioneers, but I think it's about time that we uh, finish off the uh, science, the uh, tree. That will give us a plus 33% boost to great scientists and uh, extra food and should also reduce religious unrest and give us some extra culture and science. So let's finish off rationalism. And ooh, 40 uh, happiness already. That was a pretty good choice. So we are now rational. Okay, it's promote a unit. Uh, okay, these guys got a trailblazer. Survivalism 1, Survivalism 2, and Promote Unit, uh, let's Trailblazer, Survivalism, I think we'll actually get Medic on this guy, it's always nice to have a Medic nearby, and uh, let's see, and Uppsala has Great Artist, we don't really need them for Golden Ages, so let's just create another great work. Ooh, I have not seen that picture before. Okay, Council of State, 1901. Okay, and nope, not you. We want the, um... Yeah, up here we're going to uh, do the swap and optimized again. Okay, that was good for a little bit of extra culture. And, uh... Yep. Okay, unit needs orders, Hernan Cortez. Hmm. Okay, well let's start with these this uh, machine gun here. And let's get rid of that tank. Although if this guy's gonna do anything useful, you should probably do it on this turn. That wasn't quite enough. Well, we could use this unit to get rid of the uh, land ship, but if we do that, we'll lose him for sure. Let's have this guy shoot. Let's hit that tank there. Then we have this machine gun who can finish off that tank. So that's good. This guy back here will, I think, go for that artillery. And that artillery will not be able to hit anything. How far can you go? Not too far. Unfortunately, these are all bad choices. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do a trade here. So, uh, it's a very highly promoted unit too, but, uh, oh well. Let's hit there. This unit can hit the Cossack. You can 
also hit the Cossack, although it may be better to uh, deal with the tank. Although we can't get that close on this turn. I would like to move down here. Whoops, not with you. Then we can move that artillery a bit closer. Though this guy's low on health too. Okay, let's come down there. Let's bring that guy there. And we can move these guys a bit closer. We can hit something a bit more useful than that Cossack. Like uh, the tank or the artillery. See, how far can uh, this guy move? Or shoot? I think getting rid of that artillery is probably a higher priority. As useful as it would be to get the tank. Okay, artillery down. Okay, unit needs orders. You will. How far can you move? Not too far. Well, we can move onto the hill there. Or we can move outside of uh, Jerusalem over here. I'm surprised that uh, they put a landmark over here because that's not close to any city at all. In fact, it might be possible to found a city over here eventually if we really wanted to. Um, hmm. I guess that's in Jerusalem territory right now. Okay, let's put you up on the hill here. And let's move you where that artillery is. And you can hang back for now. And you know what? This would be a good place over here for a railroad. Oh, we already have a uh, railroad there. No, we don't. Why can't I do that? We have to build for it. Or is there already someone here building something? Okay, let's put you down there and uh, you can start a railroad on the next turn. Keep okay, paratrooper will stay in Palenque. You will stay on the road there. You can stay there and defend. Oh, wait a second. You can, I guess, repair that tile. Okay. I think this is okay for now. Just wait for the Russians to drop another paratrooper over there. And okay, they're backing up from Burka. We have a few bombers here. Maybe we can take out that cruiser. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, one less cruiser. Okay, these guys are just going to hang out here and uh, wait for those guys to come back. That guy can stay in Helsinki. Let's just fortify a few of these guys so they don't keep moving around. And I think we're going to pair drop this guy closer to the front lines. over here in Uxmal. Okay. And I can even move one tile closer. Okay, your rifleman will back up close to Helsinki so he's not taking uh, fire from those uh, curiousers. I mean from those cruisers. Gatling gun stays in Helsinki. And we've got a great scientist. So we should think of Faith buying uh, more great people. 
like another great writer or a, another great scientist. Let's get another great writer so that we can get another policy soon. But then the great scientist, let's use them to discover technology. Okay, there's radar. What tech do we want next? Refrigeration? Nuclear fission? Let's get some fission. Then we can go for advanced ballistics. Okay, unit needs orders. Workboat is... Can we get there on this turn? No, we can't. So let's just wait in SPO until uh, we can deal with Westeros. In fact, we could probably bring some of those Gatling guns west, or those machine guns now, west to deal with that. Because you're not doing much good over here. So you come this way. A paratrooper will come up to where? No, we're going to have to pair drop if we want to get there in a decent time. Or maybe not. No, well, we'll take the railroad up to there. Okay, and that paratrooper is going to do the same thing on your way, guy. And, alright, I think uh, that's a good position for now. We're slowly wearing down the Russians, but um, yeah, still a lot that can happen. In any case, that's all for now. Come back next time, and thanks for watching.